I would describe this bond, this 2024 bond, as um, $630,000 in immediate need for our district. So it will be a three-year bond, a series bond, and then at the end of that three years, we'll be ready to go back out for phase two or the next bond. Um, tax rates will stay steady. Our millage rate will be right at 19 uh, mils, and uh, we specifically targeted um, this bond in this amount to do just that. So taxpayers will not see an increase in taxes. So the 2024 bond will have two resolutions in it. One of the resolutions will be for student transportation. Within the student transportation resolution, we are looking at purchasing route school buses as well as ag trucks. On the second resolution, we are focusing more on facilities. And so we're looking for elementary gym floor replacements as well as classroom technology and band instruments. Okay, so why a bond issue? So for Oklahoma Union School in particular, um, about 80, a little over 80% of our funding is used on fixed costs. So salaries, utilities, and the like. That doesn't leave a lot of extra money left um, for operational um, and curricular uh, needs for our students. We looked at our long-term vision and strategic improvement plan for our school and, um, and then put those pieces into place. So for this bond, um, we're considering it to be phase one. It's a three-year bond. It's a smaller amount at 630,000 that will not raise taxes for our patrons. At the end of this bond um, in 2027, 2028, we'll be ready to go back out for another bond, uh, potentially with larger bonding capacity, which would at that point allow us to do some construction. Phase one of this bond will be for student transportation, and it will also be for elementary gym floor replacement, classroom technology, and some band instruments. All of those were identified um, through staff feedback as immediate needs to help our curriculum as well as instructional needs and our extracurriculars to move forward until we can reach our phase two portion of our long-term strategic plan for Oklahoma Union. Oklahoma Union student transportation um, needs are great. At Oklahoma Union, we run nine bus routes. Um, our school district covers a little over 310 square miles. So we have 18 buses in our fleet. That does include our activity buses though as well. And of those buses, we have our newest buses would be 2015 and we only have three of those. Every other bus in our fleet is well over 15 years old. Technology is one, it's a constant um, change. We, we need to be on top of that. It's a never ending cycle um, because we will have technology that uh, quickly becomes outdated. So we need to stay on top of that so that we can introduce the most efficient and the most um, reliable technology that's gonna be out in the workforce. The elementary gym floor is the original floor. So that floor was uh, built back in 1991. Um, that floor is used uh, hourly, let alone daily. Um, and one thing that we like about the elementary gym floor project for this bond is that it will impact all students, um, which was a focus point in choosing all of our projects. But that elementary gym floor is certainly used for physical education classes for all of our elementary students, but additionally is used for our PTO it's used for health fairs, it's used for open enrollment nights, it's used for academic um, assemblies. In the coming months, our students and parents and teachers and community members will see that we are adding some security enhancements to our facilities. And one of those will be a secondary security entrance to our middle school and high school building. We're also able to put some security film on most of our exterior windows throughout the campus. Uh, we recently have purchased a yellow activity bus for our students. Um, we're excited about that. That's coming out of the general fund. And in addition to that, coming out of our building fund, we will soon have new sports lighting.